Here's how you can add a really cool interactive filter to your stream. If you want your stream to be able to redeem or have a hotkey and do something like this, Then I'm gonna show you how to do that, including the cool little transition that you saw so that way it doesn't last on your screen the whole time. Let's get into it. Okay, so first off, if you haven't met me before, my name is Fury of Ash and I have been a streamer on Twitch for three years. I've been on YouTube for a bit and I've been giving tech tutorials and help over on my TikTok. I released a video on TikTok that had three different OBS plugins and essentially a lot of you really liked the freeze BRB that I just showed you. So let's start off with where should you get your plugin from. This is obsproject.com. This is where I get the majority of my filters or plugins whenever I'm putting anything into my OBS. This one in specific is called the freeze filter. You're gonna know you found the right one because it's going to be by Exceldro. Now if we head on over to to the right side of our screen, you're gonna see the download button. Go ahead and click that. I did make a video on this already, so I'm not gonna go into the depths of how to download this properly. I generally recommend just using a Windows installer zip because this usually directs you to exactly where your OBS file is and it's a very easy, simple process. Now, in order to test all of this, I have a completely separate scene for my freeze frame effect. Do it however you want to, no matter what, the process after I make this scene is the same. So I just named a new scene, freeze frame or freeze filter, whichever works for you, whatever you're going to remember, and then you're gonna add it into your OBS. Once you've made this, go ahead and bring in your camera under sources. Once you've pulled in your camera, now we're gonna start adding in the filters. Go ahead and right click your camera and then click filters. The one you're looking for today is going to be called freeze. This is where you can customize it to what you want it to do personally. For this specific tutorial, I didn't mess with any of these settings. Settings. However you want to customize this is completely your call from here on out. Now to make this a little more dramatic and not have it just be a freeze frame of my colored current image, I actually wanted to add in a LUT and have it turn black and white instead. So one really easy way to do this is you can actually just use a color correction which I turned on right now and all you have to do to do that is press the plus button and go up to color correction so once you have your color correction open you're going to scroll down to the saturation scroller slider slider you're going to scroll down to the saturation slider and you're going to take it all the way down to zero this is going to give you that black and white effect that you were looking for originally so once you have the color correction and the freeze frame effects all filled out on your camera you can now work on the other parts to make this finished in OBS. Now, in order to finish this, you are going to need to find a green screen with the we'll be right back text. These are usually pretty easy to find. It should just look something like this. So to add in the words we'll be right back, you're going to right click under sources and click add. From there, you're just going to want to pick a media source. Go ahead and figure out where this is located and then also don't turn on loop. So once you've brought in your green screen, we'll be right back text, you're going to right click and click filters and then you're going to want to add a chroma key. This is going to pull out the green screen that is currently in there. Now you can just go ahead and click green and then from there just adjust similarity, smoothness and key color spill reduction. Once you've set this up, all you need to do is have just that little little bit of audio. However, I trigger the rest of this in streamer.bot. If you want to add the audio into here, you can do that as well. Some of the green screens also come with the noise included, so you can just use that as needed. From here, we can just head on over to streamer.bot and finish the rest of this tutorial. I do have a video on TikTok that talks more about the integration of this into your OBS. I'm not going to be teaching that in the tutorial today, assuming that you already have streamer.bot and know how to run it. You're going to want to head into your actions tab and scroll down and just right click somewhere. Once you've named this, this is where we get into all of the different stuff that we need to add into our OBS. So if you head on over to the right side of your screen, you're gonna see a sub actions and this is where at the end of it, it is gonna look something like this. I'm gonna have OBS get my current scene so that way it remembers where we were before someone redeems this. So I want it to be able to be triggered at any point in my stream. Even if I'm in the middle of a game or something's happening, it will immediately come back to that game after this channel point's been used. So in order to have OBS get the current scene, you're gonna right click under sub actions. You're gonna scroll on down to OBS and then from there, go to get 
current scene. Once you've added this, we're gonna need to do a little tweaking just to make this something personal so that it comes back to the scene we were on originally. So we need to set an argument. In order to set an argument, you're gonna right click, go to core, and then go to arguments, and from there click set argument. In your argument, you're going to be typing under variable name, percent previous underscore scene percent, and then under value, you're gonna type percent current underscore scene percent. So let's start by activating the scene itself. So let's right click, scroll down to OBS. And we're gonna click set active scene. From here, it's gonna show you your OBS connection and you're going to pick the OBS scene, whatever you named the freeze frame one that we created. I wanted to start triggering the words and having that whole green screen pull up first. So to do this, we're going to right click, go down to OBS, and then go down to sources. And then we're going to go down to set source visibility state. Once you click this, go ahead and make sure you're on the right scene. And then that source is going to actually be whatever the words were that you put in as your green screen within OBS sources. And you're going to make sure that you set the state to visible. Now we just need to start activating those filters that we applied. So to mess with our filters, we're now going to right click, go down to OBS, and then with OBS, we're gonna go down to sources. In sources, you're gonna scroll down to set source filter state. So once you've picked your scene and your source, which your source should be your camera, your scene should be the freeze frame, you're going to pick which filter you want to bring in. The first one is going to be your freeze filter and you're gonna go ahead and turn it on to visible. Now, since this is gonna be super repetitive, I'm gonna have you right click the OBS source filter state that you just brought in. Under this, there should be a duplicate sub action button. Go ahead and click that so that you have in total four duplicates. For the first duplicate, you're gonna go ahead and change the filter instead of it being the freeze. You're gonna go ahead and change it to the color correction and make sure that it is on visible. So now for these other two, you're going to want to make sure that you have another one of your freeze filter and you're going to have another one of your color correction. All you need to do is just change the state over to hidden instead of visible. This will make things so much easier for you. That way you don't have to worry about turning this on and off. And now everything is officially automated. From here, we just need to delay the sound and we need to bring it back to the original state that it was before. So let's start with the sound first. You can go ahead and right click under sub actions and then go ahead and click core. From core, you can scroll down to sounds and you can click play sound. Once you've added your sound, go ahead and tweak the volume that you want this to be at. And you can also test it so that you can watch how it looks on your screen. Now I have a slight delay because I want my chat to enjoy that little bit of a freeze frame and usually the most awkward face that I can possibly make on stream. So in order to add the delay, you're gonna right click and go down to core and then pick delay. So remember that whatever you put in here is done in milliseconds. So I personally have mine to 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. So the order that you should be seeing this right now is you should have your OBS getting a current scene you setting an argument to tell it which scene it was at and which scene you wanted to graph. You should have it setting an active scene, which is your freeze frame, and then setting a source visibility state, which is going to be the words or the green screen video that pops up. From there, you're going to have two OBS source filter states. Both of them are turned to visible. One is going to be the freeze filter, and then the other one is going to be the color correction that turns it to black and white. Now you're gonna want to bring up the sound file that you just put into here, you can click and drag it if it's not in the right position. And then you're going to want the delay underneath that. Now you have the other two OBS source filter states as well. These are both going to be either toggle or hidden. Once you've done all of these, there's only two more steps you have to do. We just need to make the OBS source visibility state go away, which that was the we'll be right back words that popped up as the green screen on our OBS. Go to the top where you already have this right click it and go ahead and click duplicate sub action. Once you've duplicated and it's now currently at the bottom of your screen, you're going to double click into this and make sure that you change it to hidden instead of visible. At the very end, the last action is to tell us where we need to go again inside of all our OBS scenes. So in order to do this, go ahead and right click, go to OBS, and now you're gonna go down to set active scene. Now, instead of actually picking a scene that you would normally have, we're going to manually type in from the argument that we created at the very beginning of the video. So you're going to be typing percent previous underscore scene 
25%. To make this a channel point redemption, head on over to platforms and go to Twitch. Once you're on Twitch, go do channel point rewards. So in order to do this, go ahead and title this whatever you would like it to be. You can change the cost, people you want to use this per stream, or if you want a cooldown on this. But the main thing you need to do is just select the action. Once again, if you don't select these, you're never gonna see them work. So head on over to that freeze BRB that we just made and select it. Here's what mine looks like right now. I can override what I want this to look like as far as cooldowns. However, I just control that differently within the channel points page through Twitch. Um, but I do have this all set up through here. Make sure you enable it if you want this to work. And then from here, you can just click OK. Now, in order to see if this works, you can actually go into your own channel points and head on over to the one that you just made. This is what mine is called. It will be right back. And all I have to do is click redeem and assuming that I do this right, everything should work perfectly and it'll bring me back to the scene. So let's test it out. As awful as I look, it does actually work and it brought you right back to where we were before. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me so much and I really appreciate it, as well as leave me a comment if there's something else you want me to cover in any of my future tutorials. I truly want to see other streamers succeed and do really cool things and I don't want to hide some of the stuff that I've worked really hard to make or done a lot of research for. So huge shout out to a lot of the people that have helped make this so much easier. Nutty is one of the best people ever to teach you about stuff on streamer.bot to make this whole process just a little bit easier to integrate over to. Until next time, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.